Hello, Jim Jug 23 here, and for 31 movies for 31 days of Halloween, I watched the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. Now, this is a movie I regret not seeing in theaters back when it came out, but I did watch it on Peacock because it was there at the same time. Uh, but my sister really urged that we rewatch it this year. And my opinion still stands that this movie really sucks. I don't understand um, the hype around it. I know I'm not the biggest FNAF fan in the world, but I know my uh, my FNAF a bit. Um, I watched the Markiplier videos, the MatPat videos a billion times when I was younger. It was a huge craze when I was in elementary school, all that stuff. So it's just like, what they do with this movie is really confusing because I feel like they don't really do the things in the game's story that they should have. They focus a lot on Mike Schmidt, who isn't really an important character, at least to my knowledge, and his brother getting kidnapped and this whole thing that is really confusing and lame, and his little sister. And they focus way less on William Afton and the animatronics. And it's just boring. Um, the there's a couple kills that are whatever um there's I, I don't know man it's really boring the animatronics are really cool um and well made but they're barely utilized i feel like um i don't i just don't like this movie <laughs> i don't get the hype when it kind of just feels like your average video game adaptation, but it, where it takes the source material and it tries to put it on the big screen by just doing a generic horror movie thing with it instead of just really focusing on the story. I feel like it, it really just isn't about the, at least the first three games and what those are about. I don't know, but the majority of the movie is extremely boring. And Vanessa's whole character is weird, and I just don't like her. Um, I don't like any characters in this movie that much. Um, I think the little girl's actor is pretty decent. And obviously William Afton's actor is pretty goaded, um, being in Scream and stuff. But, um, yeah, this is just a really, like, it's just a bad movie, and I don't, I don't get the hype. Um, my favorite character, I mean, I guess, I guess um, Afton, William Afton, just because I like the guy who plays him, but he's barely in the movie. Um, like, I don't know. I find the hunger, uh, freaking, what's his name? Yeah, the whole with Josh Hutcherson. Um, I find him to be very uninteresting and kind of mean unnecessarily mean um oh actually no 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 no. my favorite character is not no it's matt pat because that's a goaded cameo and one of those moments that i kind of wish i actually saw it in theaters for along with that whole bite of the bite of 87 uh little thing um and i would rate it like a two out of ten i don't it's just so generic and just boring. I swear this and badly written. I I don't uh, don't believe the hype. Um, don't, 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 don't believe the hype. For Inktober, the word was Rome, so I cooked up this poster for what's roaming around the corner. Definitely very ambiguous, uh, ambiguous. Uh, whatever. Get out! You know. Uh, ambiguous. There we go. <laughs> um, so you just gotta go see that shit, cause you know that shit's gonna be creepy. Um, yeah, that's the FNAF movie. Thanks for watching. Um, yeah. So the first night is never usually that bad in any of the games, so I'll play through. <laughs>